Medical Motor 316 here, back for another round. So unfortunately I was going to do this a little bit later, but I found out I have to do it today. So why not teach you guys something? Anyways, these curtains were hanging up there. As you can see, I removed them one of the brackets that was holding it up. Here it is. And here's what was holding it in, if you notice those gigantic holes in the wall. But what even troubles me further is the fact that this Yeah, you see that? I'm literally poking through my wall. These are the two blooming holes. They're They're pretty sturdy. And then you get here. And I can literally just punch my way through it. So I'm going to use box cutter and make a cut around it and this is how you replace your drywall if in case it ever fails you you just want to score it decent size not too bad you just want to see to what extent it really is again you want holy cow wow that's a very deep hole you pretty much want to uh, start with a clean environment and that is the gun. Ladies and gentlemen, walls are not supposed to do this. So I'm just going to cut out those two holes as well. Just to make sure it's structural. Good golly, people. So, a little lesson for you guys. Don't destroy your walls like this. Okay, if you see a blooming hole in your wall like this, and you're the reason behind it, stop. Just stop. Really, just stop. I'll clean that up in a little bit. But, thankfully, it's not super big. And thankfully, I have the tools to repair it. So what you really want to do is kind of just clean it, clean that hole out a bit, like so. And if you're looking for paint, I suggest keeping like a piece of the paint that you took off and take it to your local hardware store. That way you can match the paint. It's much easier. But now you have that hole to deal with. It's not very pretty. Thank goodness, though, that I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I had to go to... I had to go to... Uh, Lowe's quite a while ago because I was patching and repairing drywall in the other room but So I got the putty and the tools to do it But this is your patch It's called the drywall patch. It's about like three bucks Yeah, three bucks at Lowe's um, for bigger ones, they're going to cost a little bit more. So, please don't make big holes. But, this is what you're looking for. All purpose. Joint, com a joint compound sheetrock. That's what you're looking for. It's going to cost you a little bit. No more than 40 bucks. I promise. Swear to God, promise. But here we go. So, to start with this, you're going to peel off the backing. It's kind of sticky, so bear with me. 
and then you're going to apply it. The real main part about this is to make sure that you get as much of this wire mesh around the edges as possible. You want it to stick. I really hope this sticks. It's been a while since I used it last. But you'll just have to press around the edges until until it sticks all the way around. You want that a really nice tight bond. Then I'm going to show you a tool that. You know, I showed you in a previous project. Papa, I told you this thing would come in so handy. Oh yeah. It's real easy too. Yeah, it's already made, already mixed. I know it looks like it might be solid. Guess what? It's not. Even after a good, what? four months it's still putty so you're going to spread this all over your little square just slop it on spread it not too thick but not thin at all like here let me show you all right i don't know if you can see or not but Let's go get cleaned up a little bit. Sorry about that drop. Mic drop! Here's the sink. Now, my wife is gonna kill me, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And there, see it's all gone, even almost dry, you just wash it off. You can do hot water, I suggest hot water. Hot water is always a really good go-to, 
But I'm going to show you a project that I started on right here. Now I put a hole in the wall here and I covered it up with the stucco. It wasn't big, it wasn't a big enough hole so I just stuccoed it. I put some of the compound on and now it's dry. It's very structurally sound too. So when you get your paint color, I kind of got a little bit darker of paint last time, so my bad. You're going to just stir the paint with the with the paint stir. The whole project should only cost at most $100 in your budget so it's definitely doable you just put some paint on a paintbrush and you just paint the wall and then it'll look nice so that is your lesson for today I'll do